In this video, I'm going to explain you how the SafeMoon token works. So SafeMoon is a standard ERC20 token. So it respects the standard of ERC20. That means that this is a ledger for token. So for each addresses, it associates a certain balance of token. It allows to transfer this token from the current owner to another address. It also allowed for delegated transfer, exactly like for ERC20 token transfer. But what makes SafeMoon token really special is its transfer fee mechanism. So when a sender sends, for example, 100 tokens to a recipient, there will be a 10% fee. This transfer fee is very important because it gives an incentive to keep your SafeMoon token for a long time which means it's going to reduce the selling pressure and it's going to support the price. So that means for 100 tokens sent, there is only 90 tokens received by the recipient. In the 10% transaction fee, half of it will be redistributed to all the holders of the SafeMoon tokens and 5% will be added to the liquidity pool of SafeMoon on PancakeSwap. If you never heard of PancakeSwap, is the biggest decentralized exchange on Binance Smart Chain. Think of it as the equivalent of Uniswap, but on Binance Smart Chain. So let's zoom in on the mechanism for providing liquidity on PancakeSwap. So for each transfer, 5% will be used to provide liquidity on PancakeSwap. So this will work in several steps. So first, out of this 5% transaction fee, half of it will be converted to wrapped BNB token by using PancakeSwap. So we will have 2.5% of the original transaction in SafeMoon token and 2.5% in Wrap BNB. And we are going to send this to PancakeSwap to provide liquidity. And in exchange, we are going to get a liquidity provider token that will be sent to the admin of SafeMoon. So if you are not familiar with PancakeSwap, when you provide liquidity, you need to provide an equal value for the two assets of the liquidity pool. In our case, the liquidity pool is SafeMoon Wrap BNB. So that's why we had to convert half of the SafeMoon into Wrap BNB before. And another thing to note is that the LP tokens are not stored by the SafeMoon token itself, but they are stored by the admin address. And that means that at any time, the admin address can decide to redeem this LP token against half of Wrap BNB and half of SafeMoon. And that's what we call a rug pool. So we have to trust that the admin of the SafeMoon token will be trustworthy and not do that. But it's one of the big weakness of the SafeMoon token. And the last thing to understand in the SafeMoon token is how we compute the token balance of an address. So in standard ERC20 token, we just have a token supply, but in SafeMoon, we also have a reflection supply. So if you want to compute the token balance of an address, for example, Bob, you are going to compute the ratio of the token supply and the total reflection supply, and you're going to multiply this by the reflection owned by the address. So in this case, it means that Bob has one token. And for transaction fee, for the 5% that are redistributed to all the token holders, this will be done by reducing the reflection supply. So for example, if instead of having eight reflection supply, we have seven, the balance of Bob will be four divided by seven multiplied by two, which will be higher than one. We could also do this redistribution by manipulating the token supply and not dealing with the reflection supply. But in general, crypto market don't like a variable token supply. So we use this reflection system to keep the token supply constant and at the same time allow a redistribution mechanism. 